Hi, this is Frank Rosen Pereira of Rajya Sabha Television. I'm here to talk about a few aspects of COVID-19 today. I'm going to focus on uh, uh, the concept of a super spreader and why contact tracing is important. When I say super spreader, a couple of things come to mind immediately. One, of course, is patient 31 in South Korea. A single patient was said to have uh, spread the disease to dozens of people. Super spreader does not have a scientific terminology or a scientific definition, but experts believe that uh, anyone who spreads the disease to more than three or four people can be termed as a super spreader. Uh, another super spreader, of course, has been identified as a Brit national who is said to have uh, spread the disease to at least a dozen people. And uh, these are a couple of super spreaders that we can talk of internationally. The term super spreader has been used to one particular person in India as well, a 65 year old uh, uh, businessman from Jammu and Kashmir who passed away recently. He is said to have spread the disease to several people within the country. He is linked or was linked to the uh, Tablighi Jamaat, an evangelical Muslim organization which held a congregation earlier this month in Delhi's Nizamuddin, which has now become a hotspot for. COVID-19 in India. At least 50% of uh, the cases in Telangana are linked to the organization and at least 80% of the cases in Jammu and Kashmir are linked to the 65 year old man who passed away recently. Of uh, the several cases that have been reported elsewhere in the country as well, there have been several links to the Tablighi Jamaat. Now, the Tabjigi Jamaat had a congregation in which over 2,000 people were present and it was held in a small six-story building with very poor ventilation and there was absolutely no social distancing that took place there. That is one of the reasons that is said to have caused the widespread of this particular disease amongst the people who attended the congregation. Apart from that, now why it is important to ensure that we have contact tracing? At a time when we have still not ramped up the number of tests that we conduct on a daily basis, lagging far behind as far as some of the front runners like South Korea are concerned, it is important to go back and trace these contacts, identify them and then ensure that they are in quarantine and ensure that they are in self-isolation so as to ensure that we stop the spread of the disease till that time as we ramp up uh, testing. So this is very important for us to go ahead and ensure that contract tracing is in place as well and that's the only way that we can prevent COVID-19 from spreading in our country as of now. So it is important yet again for us to stay safe, stay at home, ensure that we follow all the rules that have been laid down by the government, follow the lockdown and be safe. That's it from me. See you again next time.